My name is Josemary Rodriguez, and this is my testimony. Growing up, I was a troubled child. I suffered from anxiety, rejection, depression, and low self-esteem. I lived in a household very dysfunctional, where constant fighting was always present. Even though we went to church, our relationship wasn't good. With all of those feelings happening to me, I found an exit through pills, drugs, and alcohol. By the age of 14, I was already sexually active. I was trying to fill that void. By the age of 18, I met my husband, Emilio. We got married a year later. We welcomed our first son. Three months after having my son, I got into a really bad car accident with him, where it left me severely injured in my back and in my neck where they prescribed to me pain medication, which once again, I fell right back into the addiction. I lived like that for a while. I got pregnant again with my second child, but had a miscarriage, and that sent me into a black hole. I started abusing pills and drinking alcohol every day just to numb the pain. A couple months after that, I found out we were pregnant with our miracle twin babies. Life went on. My marriage, it was going downhill. There was so many trust issues in my marriage. There was constant fighting, constant argument. I felt like I was just right back at home. I attempted suicide. I would mix so many pills together and drink alcohol to see if this was my last day here on earth. God didn't let it happen. I thank God for that. But I was still so angry at him. Why did I have so much depression? Why did I have so much anger? Why did I have so much anxiety? In 2021, I hit rock bottom. My children were seeing me high and drunk all the time. I overdosed. I ended up in the hospital, and all I could think about was leaving my children behind. After my overdose, that's when I noticed and I knew that I needed to get right with God. I received a confirmation from God where He was giving me a warning. I needed to get right with Him. I needed to teach my children about God and who Jesus was. That's when I decided to come back to Redeemed by God. October 3rd, we came back to Redeemed by God, and that's when God spoke to me. By October 18th, we became members of Redeemed by God just two weeks in. But I still was feeling a void and I wanted God to confirm that I was where I was supposed to be at. And that's when Apostol Joan Sambrano, without knowing me, called me to the altar. And he told me I wasn't going to die. It was a weight lifted off my shoulders because I was still suffering from anxiety due to my overdose. People here at church at Redeemed by God were showing me a love I had never received. They were so loving and caring. I started to understand that there was a church and pastors that wanted the very best for you, spiritually and personally. It felt so free to finally be able to love my family the correct way, the way God shows us to love. I was able to finally get baptized, and my children, they were baptized as well. My marriage has been restored, my family has been restored. I am no longer suffering from depression, anxiety, rejection, or low self-esteem. I've also been clean for a year and eight months, all thanks to the glory of God and His powerful word that He has given me through this church, redeemed by God. I invite you, come, join us, feel the love that I have finally found.